Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. I'm your host. In today's video, I'm going to go over my three brokerage accounts. My goal is to uh, save up for a rental property or a duplex where I can live in one unit and another unit I can rent out. For this uh, short-term account, I started uh, beginning of this year since January. I started saving aggressively into it. Uh, roughly about 1500 a month and uh, as of today I have roughly about 11,400 as, uh, as far as my balance so I'm gonna go over that with you and maybe show you some of my top performing stocks okay so with three of my accounts the first one being the biggest roughly about 65 percent is in uh, Robin Hood it, I have about four, $7,448 in there and another uh, 32% is with Betterman and that's about 37.04. and the smallest is actually Weeble. Uh, I have roughly about 3% in there which is about $292 so total roughly as of June 3rd 2020 uh, with all of my short uh, ter term account combined I have roughly eleven thousand just four hundred and forty four dollars and my goal at the end of this year is to contribute and grow these account uh, to fifty thousand dollars that's my goal and uh, we'll, we'll see if I can do it <laughs> I'm just making the uh, these video to uh, to document my journey and hopefully you guys can grow your portfolio as well my goal is to use this money as a down payment for a condo or a duplex actually um, i might not be here in the bay area it's so expensive but uh, it could uh, be out of state we'll see i just want to have fifty thousand dollars saved by the end of this year so that's the goal and I am kind of falling behind due to the due to the market being down right now, but it's slowly going back up. And I'm going to show you uh, right now how each of these accounts broken down to what kind of stocks I have and and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is my Robinhood account. As you can see, I have roughly about seven thousand four hundred and forty eight dollars and forty two cents um we look at the uh one day i am up about 450 one week i am up about 509 510 and uh, in the last month i'm up 31 percent <laughs> which is pretty cool um look at the past three months i my account did dip uh to about 12 13 percent but i i bought more stocks here as the market was trending down and i bought more in uh in a march but as you can see uh, it has been going up because i have been doing dollar averaging and if you don't know what that term is go ahead and look it up and yeah my one year roughly um, up total in the past uh, 12 months, 22.7% uh, or 13.79. Okay, and in my stocks here, you can see um, I have Apple about 4.01. The reason I have 01 is because I get uh, dividends from Apple. And in take a look at Apple. Uh, here's my market value about 1303 with the average cost of 284 and next if I can go next is Ford I have a hundred and sixty three shares of Ford with the dollar with the average cost of 591 and uh, so far with ford i am up with total return about 5.6 percent 
uh, I barely broke even <laughs> the starting today because store uh, Ford was down for a long time but I have been av uh, dollar averaging it so now my you can see my dollar average my average cost I mean is 591 now it's up uh, 625 per share I did make some call uh, let me go over that I, I made two calls uh, a six dollar call and a seven dollar call and I am up 52 almost 53 percent with a six dollar call and and seven dollar call I'm up roughly about 40 percent that's that's today and you take a take a look at it here um, Again, I'm I'm just learning option. So, um, total I'm up twenty nine percent or seven dollars. I'm making small option trade here. With this one, I am up fifty seven percent or nineteen dollars overall with this call, and I'm looking to most likely sell this uh, very soon. In the next couple of days, I'll give you guys an update on that soon and uh, another one is nrz which i do have too um, but this one i made the call uh, and the cost was 85 cents and as of today i'm up uh, 15 percent or 13 dollars like i said uh, i'm just slowly starting to learn uh, option trading uh okay a little sidetracked there but uh yeah ford i have um that's how much how many shares i have nrz which as just mentioned i have 125 shares if you look at the cost it's uh, about 488 per share uh and you can see that this is one of my biggest gain i have 62.86 percent gain or uh 383 up 383 overall with this one and you can see the market value there next i have uber right i think uber is going to keep going up because the economy is, is opening again slowly so i'm sure more and more people will start using uber i mean they have uber eats um people might not order many the delivery anymore as as they can drive and pick up food now but still i'm sure people will start using uber and taking normal ride to work visit family anyways uh average cost for this one 32.92 i have um uh, like i said 20 shares i'm up 12.4 percent total and next i have neo or nio uh, i had this for a while now this is also my top performing stocks and i'm up almost 78 percent or overall i'm up 197 dollars and um, average cost 320 and right now as uh, so of june 3rd it is 570 per share I believe that this stock will continue to go back up. I know a year, maybe more ago, it was like $10 and now it's slowly going up. I think it's trailing right behind uh, Tesla because Tesla has been doing phenomenal. And uh, I know uh, NEO and their direct uh, competition of Tesla. So I'm sure it's gonna keep going up as well. Um, since they're in the EV, they're based in China. You guys can look it up. I don't have time to go over um, what it is for each one, but this is a, uh, a EV company. And uh, next, I have a cannabis stocks, uh, Aurora Cannabis. I picked this up uh, when it was like seventeen dollars something, and then I uh, dollar average down. So my average cost now is twelve forty a share. Um, I am up fifteen percent. I think this stocks can go to uh, seventeen dollar or more, 
in the next couple months but we'll see i'm holding on to this i'm not planning to uh, sell this anytime soon uh next i have this is new i just um bought this uh yesterday uh, roughly 10 shares of 32.26 right now it's 34.70 i am up 7.56% this is a vector, a vector IQ. I know it's as a blank check company. They're merging with uh, Nicola, if I pronounce that correctly. I believe it's gonna keep, it's gonna go up as more and more people rush into it. And uh, uh, yeah, so I'm just buying ten right now. I might buy some more if it goes down. Uh, this might be a quick trade. Um, I'm not sure since it's going uh, public soon, so yeah, I'm not sure. I just um just I just want want to miss out on the opportunity. That's why I got ten. We'll see if I if it goes down, I'll pick up some more. If not, uh, I'll just ho hold on to this for now. And uh, next is uh, Micron. Micron. I know five G is. Uh, right around the corner more and more phones now have 5g they micron they create uh, memory for computers for phones memory ram you know all that good stuff so i got six shares or average about uh, 48.46 and my total return right now is only 1.11 percent overall return not that great but i i believe this company will uh, actually go much higher it was in the it was in the 60s i believe yeah in february it was almost 60 i believe it's gonna go up past that next i have uh, a couple airlines uh, this is delta airline i got it uh, at 24.75 my total return is 17.12 percent or 42 dollars um, i think airlines uh, it's gonna keep going up as more and more people will start to travel again within three to six months or maybe a year but i'm holding on to this I know it has a lot of potential. Uh, I mean, it was trading at in the, in the, almost in the fifties uh, three months. So, well, actually, no. Earlier this year it was in the sixties. Um, anyway, so that's Delta Airline. I think I have a couple more Delta uh, Airline, uh, or I have some Southwest Airline. But going to the next one, I have some uh, REITs. Is Apple hospitality and uh, you can see my uh, average cost was 10 bucks 1031 total return 11 percent or 27 dollars and I have about 24 shares uh, after that i have carnival cruise this uh, stocks has been doing pretty decent i got it when it was pretty high and then it went down really low but my average cost for this one was about 13.10 and right now I'm up 33% or $65 and um, I believe it's gonna keep going up so I'm hauling on to this hey let me know if you guys have some of these stocks in, in the comment below as well okay and almost done here I have one share of Bo Boeing um, I picked it up uh, when did I pick this up? I picked this up at one share March twenty fourth, um, one eighteen. Only only about got one share, but uh, I'm up fifty percent or sixty dollars for this uh, for this stock. Uh, next, I have Qualcomm. This is one of my uh, favorite company. I'm planning to add more here. But right now it is um, my average is seventy two forty nine. I got two shares, so uh, it's up sixteen percent or twenty three dollars. Plan to pick up some more if it dip 
or even if it goes up a little bit, um, plan to buy some more in the near future. So that's Qualcomm. Yeah, with 5G and most of uh, the Android phone, Samsung, Google, and top of the line Android phones, they all use uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Uh, next, I have AMD. AMD, of course, you guys know AMD. Uh, pretty much one of the main competition for from for Intel. And uh, average cost for this one is forty nine forty eight. I have two shares and total return right now six point four three. I believe they have a lot of potential with the new C with the new CEO. She's been doing a phenomenal job with the new um chips that they uh, recently launched. Um, they also very big with corporate, not just consumer. Uh, average consumer. Um, so AMD, all right. Next, I have GE, 10 shares. Um, I got it roughly about 663. Now it is up 11.6% or $7.70. Um, I just got it because I think it's gonna go up in the future. I mean, it was, uh, it's actually been down a lot. It was in the thirties, right? It was in the thirty, but it's keep going down. So I, I, th this company has been around for so long. I, I don't think they're going. To, they're gonna go anywhere. So, I'm holding on to the uh, to these uh, G share for now. General Electric. Next, I have uh, NAT, Nordic American Painters. So I got it when it was 612. Now it's down. <laughs> so this is one of the company that's actually down. I'm, um, I might get, pick up some more. Um, but well, so this is a small position. I only have 10 shares. So uh, it's only forty four dollars and sixty cents. I'm down twenty seven percent or sixteen dollars. Um, next I have. Uh, next I have. Uh, uh, this is P G and E. It's a uh, electric company. They provide electricity. I actually have P G and E, and uh, with. There was a lot of issue uh, lately with the wildfire and everything, so the stocks has been down like crazy. But I heard, uh, read somewhere, not too long ago, that they, the bankruptcy, um, was approved or something like that. Um, not too sure. I just got a few shares, so I think it has a lot of potential. That's why I got it. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, this one I'm up almost 15% or $7. Yeah, as you can see here, guys, the bottom one is getting smaller and smaller. Um, and lastly, my oil, U United States Oil Fund is an EFT. It's 2710 at the moment, but I got it was when it was 1728 and this one is up 56% or 982. So yeah, these are the stocks that I have. And uh, the other sh one I have, this is the free one I got, uh, Aero International. I probably just sell this. I just haven't had a chance to. Some of my friends uh, signed up. This is Washington Prime Group. It's a read, but it's been down like crazy. Their um their dividends is pretty high though, but anyways it's just a free stock that I got it it, it was like three dollars now it's only seventy two cents, um yeah, it's just sitting there I'm not doing much with it uh, and lastly, this one is uh, Amneal Pharmaceutical again there's another free stock that I got um I didn't buy it so I didn't look much into it. Um, I just have it and um, lastly I have some cryptocurrency dogecoin I have roughly about what do I have 10 11 dollars worth and it's up 17 percent or a dollar 60 
Um, yeah, I am not uh, too sure about this digital coin. I just picked it up just because <laughs> I just want to have some. And this is a very, very small percentage of my portfolio. As you can see, it's, it's only 0 0.014 of my portfolio in here. And next is this my second account. As you can see here, um, I have roughly about uh, 3703 and pretty aggressive. I have 80% in stocks, 20% in bonds. And uh, yes, yeah, this is the and this is what's in there. I'm not going to go over each one, but pretty much Betterman's pretty much helped me pick uh, all these EFT. Uh, yeah, you can see here what's in there. And lastly, I have my Weeble my Vivo account is just pretty small. Um, I got some free stocks in here. Right now, my balance is uh, nine o two hundred and ninety one uh, dollar and ninety five cents. So those are um, the amount I have in there. Within it, I have these shares. Some of them I got free. Actually, most of them. Actually, all of them except. Um, Prospect Capital is the one that I bought, and so far it's down seventeen percent, or seven dollar and eighty four cents. I have uh, here roughly, what's my uh, cost? It was like uh, four forty six zero six, and right now it's only worth thirty eight twenty two. The rest actually is just free stocks that um, my friends and. Uh, family signed up so I got some free stocks from them um, yeah you guys can take a look I'm not gonna go over each one because these are the free stocks I didn't really buy them I just um, I refer people um, and they they sign up so that's it guys thanks again for watching don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.